Join hundreds of students who excel in maths by learning from the mathstutor.com.au. Through hundreds of comprehensive video maths lessons, a passionate teacher shares his expertise, unique teaching style and methods with you. Go to themathstutor.com.au and join up now. www.themathstutor.com.au Making maths easy. Don't forget to tell your friends. <laughs> Hey guys, if you know how to multiply fractions, then algebraic fractions follow the same rules. We're going to multiply algebraic fractions using the rules of normal fractions. What do we do? We multiply the top with the top and the bottom with the bottom. It is that easy and then we ask if we can simplify. Let's do some examples. We have a over 4 times b over 5. The rule is, the numerators multiply together and the denominators multiply together. So it is that easy, that times that and that times that. Top times top, bottom times bottom. A times B, AB, put our fraction bar, 4 times 5, 20, is that it? Yes, that's it. AB over 20, top times top, bottom times bottom. Again, here, top times top, and bottom times bottom, 2 times x, we put our fraction bar, 2x, and y times 6, 6y. Can we simplify? In this case we can, 2 over 6, we divide by the highest common factor is 2, 2 divided by 2, 1, 1x, one and 6 divided by 2 is 3y. So make sure always we multiply the numerators, we multiply the denominators. These arrows are showing us what to do. 2x over 6y. Can we simplify? Yes, we can. We divide by 2, and we divide by 2 because 2 over 6 can be simplified, it becomes one third. There's really an invisible one here, but we don't have to put it. 1x over 3y or x over 3y, that is our final answer. Another two examples, we'll do the top one. 3b over 5 times 2 over b. Top times top, bottom times bottom. Top times top, 3b times 2 is 6b, and 5 times b is 5b. Now 6 over 5, or 6b over 5b, we know the b's cancel out. 6 over 5 is our answer in improper fraction, or we can write it as a mixed numeral how many fives go into six? One whole and one remaining, and the five is the denominator, one and one fifth. This is our answer for that question there. Again, what do you notice? We just always follow the rules of normal fractions, exactly the same, but we have pronumerals as well. So this is called algebraic fractions. Last one, four x over three y. Come on, you can do this. Times two y over five. Try to do it with me. Top times top, and bottom times bottom. 4x times 2y, 4 times 2, 8xy, and 3y times 5. 3y times 5, 15, 15y. Can we simplify this? 8xy over 15y, yes we can. What cancels out? The y's do. See you later, and see you later. We're left with 8x over 15, that is our final answer. These are the multiplication of algebraic fractions. They follow and they behave the same way as normal fractions. Make sure you master them, we are going to use them later on.